So there's a bit of a skill to climbing in Cyber Hunter, and that really comes in from essentially knowing that you get more points for placing higher than you do for killing lots of people. So if you are absolutely 100% just wanting to climb as high as you can, you should drop to the most remote location where you don't think you'll run into anyone. Don't go for a hot drop. Don't go for um, a like a really silly drop to a, like a location like this, for instance, that you know is going to be heavily populated. Because especially in solo mood, there's so many people that just want to kill you that it's very difficult to actually get a, a drop that um, works out well for you when you go for one of these hot drops. I... I'm actually feeling going somewhere different today. I'm going to go over to, to Angela, even though it's not as good of a location. Um, I just, I, I actually want to take some early fights. So you would want to drop somewhere like over here. You want to drop somewhere over here, here, here. Just go for one of these crazy, like really um, chilled out locations and basically play the edge of the circle. Don't drive into the center of the circle. Don't um, go and chase after crates. Because although you might not end up winning the entire game, you're much more likely to come out on top and get a top 10 position. A top 10 finish is what wins you these, it gets you points in these games. Like a top 10 finish is always guaranteed to get you points. Doesn't matter how many kills you get, the Battle Royale is about always about placing as high as you can. So I would aim for the top 10 by just taking super chilled out drops, not heavily populated, and trying to win like that. If, however, you're like me, and you're more concerned with, because I've got plenty of time to climb, if you're more concerned with just improving your gun skill, what I'm doing is dropping very hot locations. Um, the reason I'm dropping super hot locations, or trying to, is because I really want to just practice shooting. I have, um, I, I'm not the best aiming in this game right now. Um, so I'm just learning how to play claw grip. I'm generally trying to be a bit more aggressive with my drops, just to help me out when it comes to these kinds of things. Looks like I'm actually okay for the moment, though. Ah. Cool. I don't know what that guy was. Yeah, I just tried to go for more hot drop locations. He had an SMG mag for the Fox Drop. What an absolute monster, and he just let me kill him. I wonder if he's actually looted these locations, because if, if this is not looted, I'm, I'm just going to assume that this is a bot. I don't really want the shotgun core, because I'm going to get rid of that shotgun eventually. I mean, that's a bot. We know. What? Oh. I'm out in the open here. I had some more shots over here. Kind of want to loot this building before I decide to go off and then eat. Please? Okay. Very almost, very, very almost screwed that up. Sometimes I forget you have abilities in this game, you see. So I'm like, oh god, I need to put the thing down that stops people from shooting me. And it actually, uh, you saw the reason why I prefer that, uh, the wall, to the uh, to the house. You know the little house thing? Oh, Drake Buster, gimme. I don't know if you guys have seen the little... Oh my god, I don't need to do that. Um, you know the guys have seen the little house that you can sometimes get? Um, you know the little... Sorry, I thought I had someone shooting me. Um, the little sort of four-walled thing. Um, I prefer the wall to that because I think it's more versatile. Do think the uh, don't get me wrong. I think the the house is good, of course, but um, I prefer the wall just because, again, like I said, I think it's more versatile. Foxtrot is such a good weapon when you've got a, a, an extended mag in it, though. How far have I got to go? I really don't have to go very far, right? One of the issues that I have got in this game is that once I've done my initial drop location, it's very difficult to know where to go to find people apart from going for crate hunting. The reason I haven't, like, shot off just yet is because I'm just trying to see if I can find um, an SMG core, for instance. The SMG core would really help me out. Does that really only have a set of heavy ammo in it? Okay. 
I've already got an SMG mag. So I've heard this is actually the meta, by the way. The um the, the Drake Buster Foxtrot combo. I've heard this is kind of the meta um for this game, so that's why I'm trying out Epic Helm. That's pretty good. That's why you never go too early, guys. Basic body armor. SMG ammo. Would really love an SMG core. That would really help me out. Maybe I have to find it at the next place. Speaking of the next place, the plane kind of went like this. So I'm guessing there is going to be some people directly below me. We'll see what happens. I think I cleaned out most of the people here. So yeah, I was telling you about how to climb the the most quick, or as quickly as you can. So, like, I wouldn't have done a drop like that if I was trying to climb in Cyber Hunter. Um, Cyber Hunter heavily weights your position over the number of kills that you get, which is kind of, like, I guess, plays towards playing tactically in, in Battle Royales. But it also just makes the game, if you really want to climb, quite boring. Because, uh, as you may have noticed, there, there were a decent amount of bots in these games. Um... So it, sometimes it could be quite a while before you find an actual human to fight, which is why I drop to those sort of heavy drop locations, because I'm more interested in trying to improve the way I play the game before I start climbing. Um, and if I can come out of those those sort of situations, like absolutely unscathed, um, then I'm doing pretty well. Okay, the, the crate's too far away from me, really. Sometimes I just like to float out like this. Just see if anyone takes some shots at me. Gonna climb on top of this uh, gun over here, this mounted gun. Should always be looking around. Don't forget to look in front of you, of course, but always try to have a look around. One of the things that a lot of people think that you have to do to climb is to to have to like um, to like be really good and shoot all the time and get loads of kills. You don't actually have to play like that at all in this game. You shouldn't stand on top of buildings like this and just let people take shots at you, especially when you don't have a sniper or you don't have any long range long range uh, weaponry at all. Do you know what? I actually prefer to have the longer range stuff on the Foxtrot for the simple fact that the Foxtrot is actually much easier to control than the Drake Buster. The Drake Buster's like got a lot of spray on it and the recoil is quite hard. I was thinking about doing a top 10 tips to like improve at Cyber Hunter. It's very different to the way that other Battle Royales play. Um, it's kind of like it's very um, movement focused. Like, so it plays a bit like Apex Legends in the sense that it's very movement orientated. Like in fights, you should always be rolling. You should always be trying to place a bit of cover down. You should always be trying to make the opponent, um, like, constantly have to search for their for their shot. Let's just have a look up here. Where's that airdrop coming in? That airdrop's coming in very close to me. Okay. No, you don't, mate. I'm coming for that. I am coming for that. Oh, that's in the water. I don't like going for ones in the water. They have to come up eventually. destroy trees. Oh my god, the Foxtrot is so good. 
I don't really want to swim across this, though. I don't really want to swim across this, but... Do you know what? We're gamers, and we... And we take risks. You can't actually get shot while you're uh, underwater, so... I'm assuming everything got taken. Surface ASAP. Okay, surfaced. I'm surfaced. And that's why the Foxtrot's so good. It's very easy to control. It has so much ammo in its uh, in its capacity. And now everyone's dead over here. Oh my god, look at all these people. What have they got? Sun of the sky. Okay. 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 How many bat... Uh, I've got... Med kits. I don't have enough med kits, but my bag is full. Like, I like to have more med packs, but my bag is full. I don't think I'm ever going to use the eight times. Can we drop a. Can we drop some? Discard some. Discard. I want to use the med packs. There we go. Right, now we need to find another set of challenges. Because that went really well. Foxtrot's insane. I wonder if we could put the four times on the Foxtrot. Because it's got such good stability. It really has got such good stability. There's a dead guy here. Now, it's difficult to tell whether that was recently or that was right at the start. Because this is one of those locations. Okay. Could be right at the start. This guy. Time to test out the fox drop four times. Oh my god, it's insane. It literally has no recoil. Dodging back and forth, and I was just stood still. Really should have been a fairly easy kill for him. But, I have tested how good the uh, Foxtrot is at long range, which is insane. Now that would have attracted attention from somewhere, I'm sure of it. This weapon, this weapon in general is, is I actually think, I did post a video a while ago thinking the Sentinel was the best weapon. Um, but then someone suggested that I try out the Foxtrot and actually I fully agree. I, I was so wrong about the Sentinel. The Sentinel is good, but you can't replace having 75 ammo per clip. I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. And with a four times on as well, it's just so good. Now, I might, I don't really want, see, if I was playing sensibly, I'd just go get in a building and I'd chill and that would be it. But I don't really want to do that. There's a guy there. I need to kill people with grenades, so that worked out quite well. I'm assuming she's still there. Couldn't really see. Okay. Whew. Grenades are so clunky. I wouldn't recommend using them like all like that. That was uh, that was pretty rough because grenades are really clunky.
Now, didn't... Are people going to be coming from that town over there? And did anyone, did anyone go to that crate over there? I am kind of out the circle right now, I know. But that is only because I'm just having a look around. Yep. I mean, I didn't know that she was there, but she just popped up while I was looking at the crate, so I got lucky. Could use the soul snatcher, but honestly, I'm just I'm having a great time with the fox uh, the fox trot right now. Okay, it's moving in now. I'm going to have to move back towards the circle. Have a look around me. So I'm, when it comes to actually winning games, I'm pretty certain that movement is the key. Like, you have to be... This is why people, like, are, are on bikes or in vehicles all the time. You would never want to be, like, one of those people that sort of sits in one location and fires. Because in this game, you give away your location so easily. You want to be constantly making the enemy have to find you. You want to be the person... You, you want to be the person getting into third-party fights with people. You don't want to be the person getting third-partied. When I mean getting third-partied, what this generally means is... Um, when you start a fight and with someone else and then someone else just pops up and starts shooting you it's the most frustrating thing in the world because you didn't know that they were there that's called third partying um, so you want to be the one that's third partying and the way that you avoid getting third partied at least try to avoid getting third party because right now I've given away oh Where was I getting shot from? Down there. Where does he go? Okay, this is another reason that bots are annoying. Because they do this. And I just won. That was a bot, right? So the bot started shooting me from behind. This is what... That was so annoying. The bot started shooting me from behind. I immediately thought that it might have been another player third-partying me. If I had turned to shoot the bot, which wouldn't have killed me, because bots take... Like, bots just don't kill you. I would have potentially lost the fight with the guy on the top of the hill. Then the bot, which you can tell is a bot because they, they jump in location. They they are really bad at shooting and they all wear the same bloody outfit. Um, if I had turned to kill the bot first because they were behind me, I probably would have ended up losing that game. I didn't lose that game because I took the only human out that mattered. They, for some reason, didn't. They were also obsessed with killing the bot, so they didn't even see me coming up to the side of their, their, um, their construction. Oh, it's rough. It is rough because you could have very, very easily... Uh, it lost that game if you were um, like turning to kill that bot in that situation. But I, I think there's a lot of good lessons, you know, from this. Like, it's really, really, really important to constantly keep moving in this game. It's really important to know which guns are the best, and we'll be doing lots of testing on that in the next week. And it's also really important to um, to make sure that um, you are playing for ranking if you really care about getting up in the leaderboard. Like playing for position is much better than playing for kills when it comes to gaining points. Um, so if you want to gain points quickly, just absolutely play for position. Don't take too many early flights, uh, fights and chill and you know chill as much as you can. All right, well, that's, uh, that's me getting a uh, 13 kill game, which actually was really good. And we, we just absolutely crushed people with the Foxtrot. I, think I, I don't even think I got a kill with another gun that wasn't the Foxtrot. Um, so yeah, that was really awesome. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.